Welcome. Welcome to the series that begins with the from the throat, from the element of sound to the Ajna. I find it um, interesting how the work that we're working with uh, is evolving with the times. I don't think that's any coincidence, um, unfortunately, and fortunately. So welcome and invite your curiosity, invite your action, invite your stillness. That's where we're going, that's where we're at, is we're working with a greater um, frequency, but yet a quieter um, and grounded and centered and aligned area called the Ajna. It's often represented with two petals in, in the symbols of the um, chakra system. And although it's often said that it's in between the eyebrows, it is, but it's more inside the head. So it's drawing us in. All the other chakras as well have been front and back. But this one is drawing us into the pineal gland, into the pituitary gland. And as we know with a gland, glands can be accessed and glands often have some sort of an excretion. And this one is said to be the light, our light. But yet the light is within the dark. So we go into that vastness you know, when, when we've talked before and we talk about the mind, it's not compartmentalized all just right here in a little box. It's a consciousness, right? It's, it's bigger, it's vaster, it's greater than that. And sometimes we just don't slow down long enough to really understand and become more aware that it's not all housed in here. <laughs> it's housed throughout. My name is Deborah O'Neill. I am the CEO and founder of blissby.me Integrative Holistic Health. I invite you to visit my website at www.blissby.me, B-E.me, and put your name on the list as we get ready to go into a private membership behind the scenes where we can do deeper work, where I, I know that we're in a container together, where we can support one another in this container and really delve into this. The work that I've been doing the last 76 episodes is so simply the tip of the iceberg, something that I can trust that you can find some curiosity with and, and you know, do no harm without having somebody there with you. Um, I am here with you. If you have any questions or anything, please dis, um, direct message me. I, I am here for you. So when we go into this vastness, this vastness, when I shared with you yesterday some of my favorite things, some the reason why I have them in my life, the reason why I've incorporated them and tried them on and liked them, and sometimes like Nettie, I do, I would almost pretty much every day. And my my certainly my my dry brushing or my my sleep, my um, my mitt, yes and the oil pulling, just starting that, incorporating that this year. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. And the most important thing is when I do these, it's, it's to quiet my mind. When I, when I neti, it's the experience of, of feeling that cleansing, that pur purification through the nose. And in such gratitude, it's like my eyes, it's like I feel this clearing in my head, this space where I want to sit in this vastness. And I count, you know, to 14 because I want to balance it as best I can. So sometimes I would count first starting with counting to 10 and it's like, oh, no, I have eight extra counts on this side. So I'll split them up. And so if I do 14, 14, you see, so it is a little bit of my own analytical um, 
beingness. But I laugh. I love that part of me. I love that part of me. Love that part of you. Love that part of you that's a little um, eccentric, a little quirky. You know, there's no names, no labels. It, it just is what is. It is my part of my attention to detail that I don't have in some other areas of my life. This is where it's showing up. And it's showing up because it's important to me. I hope it becomes important to you. And as equally as we wet the, the, the silica and the nostrils and cleanse it, it is important to dry. I, I didn't speak to that. Um, but when we go in deeper, we can have a more thorough understanding. And by drying, it's just simply blowing your nose ever so joint, gently, maybe five times on one side and five times on the other. And just allow that you're giving your nose a little blow dry from the, in the area a dry. It was just something I was thinking about today when I was knitting. I was like, oh, I didn't tell them how to dry their nose. <laughs> it's important. So as we go into the Ajna, as we go into uh, this celestial realm in our bio field, even the word celestial is like limitless. It's a limitless area. Hmm. And if you don't like the word magic or magic happens, then make it magnificent. <laughs> it's a magnificent area. It offers you and I and anyone that wishes to explore this area boundless vastness, peace, and calm. And getting to the point where it can just allow it to be. This is where we draw in our divine creator source energy. This is where we ask and we find clarity. And our intuition is oh, even my truth bumps. Oh, my the, your intuition is mm, becomes the norm. Becomes the norm. You stop asking other people what's right or wrong. What should I do in my indecisiveness? How should I approach this? When you have all the answers, you have all the answers. How do I be in this time now? You have the answers. You have the safety container, you have the earth energy, you have the earth hurts, you have the emotional knowledge, You've got the fire and the passion that is stoking your heart. You've got the expansionness of the lungs as you breathe into them from the diaphragmatic breath. You've got the ability to wash that energy and that breath down your arms into your hands and to know and trust thy will, to trust, to speak your voice, to feel your voice, to offer the resonance, the harmonic cohesiveness that we are as a collective here. And as we tap into that collective, that is our tipping point. That is where we want to tune in and turn on and invite our friends. Share this. Share this. This is the viral stuff. This is where, oh, this is where we should, no shoulds. This is where I hope we can walk. This is where I hope we can walk. In this grounded, centered, and aligned as we move up the body. But you see, we can't get here unless we've been down here setting the container. We can, in some ways, but the journey is so much fun. Let's feel our feet on the floor. 
as we journey down into the center of the earth and start to experience and allow this vastness. When you're brushing your teeth and you're up here doing some work, close your eyes and just see if you can tap into this, this area just ever so eloquently draw in even with so hum if you're brushing your teeth with so hum see if you can breathe it in and and start to sit just sit and it doesn't have to be sitting in as with your sit bones it could be washing the dishes and just sitting here Start to become aware. Allow yourself to journey in and breathe in there. When you breathe in through your nostrils, see if you can breathe it in. I can't tell you how it's done for you, but I offer you the curiosity. I think I'll talk more about things that I've been curious about and how I've how I've managed to find peace in the chaos. But guess what? Then I needed to find peace with the peace. It was a really bizarre experience and a really bizarre journey. It was kind of like that book, you know, like The Power of Now that I was reading in 2007 that seemed so alien and, and now it feels like my favorite sweater. This might feel so alien or so awkward or uncomfortable or weird or I can't get this. Let that go, that's just the ego. Just give that a little wash off the frontal lobe and offer that energy back into Mother Earth. Let's imagine our roots coming out of the bottom of our feet and our etheric feet going down into the central core of the earth. So we turn on our sensories and feel the coolness of the rocks and the sand and come up down into the warmth of the molten and feel attracted to that central crystalline core of the earth. And allow, with permission, that hurts of the earth energy, often depicted as a red frequency with the color red. Allow that to come up to the bottom of your feet and fill both feet. Make sure you've got feelings in all those four points of your feet on the, on the ground, on the floor. And with love and gratitude for this healing hurts of the earth that so much of the electrical mag magnetic smog that we experience doesn't allow us to tap into this frequency, this hurts. Bring it up through the calves and the knees and the thighs and the hips into the bottom of the lower abdomen as we ensure that we're engaging our everyday breath, the deep di diaphragmatic breath. And as we breathe in and breathe up, and pull up this earth energy, allow the side ribs in the back to expand allowed to go through the spine and up into the chest and over the shoulders and down our arms to our hands. I, even when I naturally do this at, uh, on my own, I still, I still do these actions in the shower as I feel the rain and the abundance of the water flowing over me. And I breathe it up into the gateway, into the neck. And I remind myself that this is thy will, not my will. And I breathe it up into the head. And out, Sahasara, open the portal at the top and allow this Mother Earth energy to spill down the outside of my body. I invite you to feel that sensory on those nerve endings as you imagine this. And the imagination becomes your reality because the mind does not know the difference. And then we come into the centering. Mm. 
and we align with that Hara line that goes right into the center of the earth and then up through the spine, through the head and out divine source, creator, con consciousness, higher, higher self, father's guy, God. We bring that in down that fine line, that golden white light. And we allow it to wash over the cranium and into the Ajna area, the pineal and the pituitary glands, the hypothalamus, the, the brainstem and the neck, all these beautiful, beautiful areas in our body and our vessel, every space and every cell. As we bring in this nurturing, divine healing energy down our arms to our hands. Down our throat, into our heart area, expanding our lungs. May every thought I have be with love and compassion and grace. And if it's not, may I have the awareness to change it. May I speak with love. May I sing. May I give myself permission to sing. No matter who is there and who is listening, I have permission to be the true being of who I am. May I be that for the greatest and highest good of me and those around me and the world in which I vibrate in. Practice just saying the words that you're asking for. I don't have these words written down. It's just closing my eyes and tapping into what I want in this moment in time. With this divine source creator energy and we are creative beings. We add to this energy. We are this energy. May we have peace. May I contribute to this peace. May I be a part of the solution Guide me and give me the knowledge and the power to be the greatest person that I can be here and now. The world needs me. The world needs you. I know the world needs me. Show me. Show me, please. Show me how to show up. That is the ask. That is the prayer. That is the kneeling. That's me sobbing on the floor and my snotty cry. Please show me how to show up. And that's where episode one, my fear was washed away with my need to be here and now. Thank you so much for sitting with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of my world. It's a lot less lonely. <laughs> mm, and let's go into Soham. As we tap into the Ajna, as we tap into the third eye, which I think should be rightfully called the first eye. <laughs> and one slow inhalation with no, no jerks. And one slow exhalation, tapping into the sides of the ribs and the back body as we drink, uh, deep diaphragmatic breathe. Let's spend two minutes here in silence, in stillness, in peace. As we journey in, as we journey in. Hold our big deck while we journey in. The goal here is to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And a continuous inhalation and exhalation. Breathing in so. Exhaling hum. No pause, no jerk, no noise, no judgment.
curl your lips up just a little. Thank you for sitting with me again. The greatest action you can do to activate this area of the body, this frequency of the body, this vibration, is to meditate. Is to meditate. You can meditate anytime, anywhere. Cooking is a meditation. And what a beautiful frequency you're putting into that food. Meditate while you're watching TV. And nobody knows you're meditating. You can still meditate. You can still engage the breath, engage the mantra, or just even Engage the breath and be in that vastness. Our offering today from the mother. Oh my gosh, it's the same one. I have two sets of cards to pick from on here. Like I'm talking lots. So to get the same card again, has a very strong representation of to the, what the work is that needs to be done. Beauty. Beauty, you are my way to the divine, which I interpret as by living in beauty, being beauty, that is our way to connect to divine. That is the way to divine. Let beauty be your constant ideal beauty of the soul, beauty of feelings, beauty of thoughts, beauty of action, beauty in the work, so that nothing comes out of your hands that is not an expression of pure and harmonious beauty. And the divine help will always be with you. That takes us right back into this area of the Ajna, the third eye. What a great way to meditate with this. Replay it, write it down. Let the beauty be your constant ideal. If it's not beauty in here, it's up for you to become that beauty we're not changing anything, right? We are beauty. We are divine, creator, source, energy, higher self. We are all these levels of consciousness. Where do we want to sit in that consciousness? In the beauty. So that then beauty is our soul. Beauty is our feelings and beauty is our thoughts. Beauty is our action and beauty is our work. So that nothing comes out of your hands, my hands, that is not an expression of pure and harmonious beauty. This is the goal. This is our being. It is already inherently in us. We just 
I just need to do the work every single minute of every single day. Do the work. It is my devotion. It is my bhakti. Thank you for being here. Beauties. I love you. Make it a great day.